Hello and welcome back to the Pokemon Xenoverse playthrough. This is part 17. In the last episode, we went ahead and got ourselves a brand new Shyly on form. We had a whole bunch of story. We got a whole bunch of stuff done. Uh, but we have the Xenoversal ring. We have ourselves a brand new Shyly on. And we have ourselves a gym to face. We have new Far in Ishtar City to go ahead and fight. Honestly, I kind of want to use Shyly on a lot. I'm feeling like she's going to be either a ground type gym or a water type gym. Uh, so... Theoretically, Shyleon should be pretty good. I might trade out Electabuzz uh, for a different Pokemon in our box once we figure out what gym type she is, but for right now, we're going to be running over to that gym, and we are getting ourselves a gym done today. Hopefully, I can remember exactly where the gym was. I'm pretty sure it was just up, which it was. Do either of you tell me? You proved your courage defending our city. You deserve to keep this item. Like play. Okay, okay. Probably not running screens, but, you know, sure. That Pokemon tricked us, and we'll learn from our mistakes for the Queen and the people. Hi. Welcome back, Carlos. So tell me, did you manage to meet Gramps? I sure did. I sure did. He has a Scalion, and I want one. What? You gained a new power on the volcano? Yes, I did. A new Shyleon that's honestly kind of weird looking. I'm still not sure about the appearance. Uh, I, I did kind of like the last form we had. This is fabulous. I knew the grabs would have brought the full potential out of you. I'm sure you're going to solve the canyon problem in the blink of an eye now. I'm fighting you faster, right? But first, I would really like... Whew, I was right there. But first, I would really like to touch this new power of yours, so I'm waiting for you inside the gym. I can assure you it won't be that easy. I'll see you inside. Okay, I would like to know what type I'm going to be fighting. You're going to tell me, right? Welcome to Ishtar City's gym, young trainer. What? You want to know if I'm paid to follow you? Kinda. Kinda want to know that. Sadly, no. But always remember, I'm cheering for you. This time, before starting, I want to test your sense of observation. So tell me, in which type do you think the gym leader specializes? This isn't what I want, I'm not sure. Not fire. If it's fire, I would actually be so mad. Water makes sense because of... Well, does it? We're in an oasis. But we are also in a desert. But there is also Cofagrigus. Fire is the only one here that I couldn't see. I didn't consider Ghost because I did forget about the Cofagrigus. But also, if there's a Cofagrigus, it could be a different form and be one of these other two types. There's nothing saying it's a Ghost type Cofagrigus. Each gym leader's had a special thing. I, I refuse to believe it's ghost. It's water or ground. I'm going with my gut here. I say I'm going with my gut, but I really don't know. It's one of these two. It's gotta be, right? If it's ghost, I'll lose my mind. If it's fire, I'll actually be just confused. Water seems more right because of the name. New far. New far. See, New Five just makes me think of Egypt, which doesn't really tie to a typing as such. I am going to go with ground. Just because this is an oasis in the desert? Don't be cliche. Come on, try again. Oh no. Water. You've carefully observed her clothing, I see. That would have been a good thing to do, wouldn't it? <laughs> that would have been a good idea. Yeah, that's right. New Five is a water type specialist. Counter her rushing stream with electric type or sound type Pokemon. I'm gonna go get Bremond real quick. I wanted to test your insight ability because you really are going to need it in this gym. <laughs> oh no. I'm gonna go get Bremond real quick. Alright, we have Bremond on the team. At the end of the day, I want to use Shyly on as much as possible in this gym with the whole Calm Mind Giga Drain setup thing. Uh, we have another Grass type here. You know, we have we have a pretty decent type coverage against water types, I'd say. Bremen's a little bit underleveled, but I did give it an expert belt. It should be able to hit decently hard. It has the charge beam. We'll, we'll see how it goes, I suppose. Uh, hi. I see glowy thing I click. Walk on the... Grass? Walk on the grass? Is that what that says? Pretty sure that's a G. <laughs> that's the only part I'm wondering about. Okay, walk on the grass. 
As in, if I step off, it's gonna go bad? Or what? Hmm. So if I step down here, do I fall? No. I'm confused. Sure. Here you come, Challenger. The challenge of our Ishtar gym is based on our ancestors' games. The first one you are going to challenge is called the Game of Farfetched. Is there gonna be two sticks? And I'm gonna have to like click on the stick to change the farfetched dire direction? Is that what we're doing? The floor is dotted with platforms depicting the effigy of various Pokemon, where you need to find your way on. Only by reading and decrypting in the right way the clues on these pillars, you will know which road to take. But if you miss your step, you will find out on your own the fate you're destined to. And that's all for this game. Try your best and watch your steps, trainer. Walk on the grass. Um. Well, I want to be on Leafeon rather than Espeon and the grass monkey rather than the water monkey? Okay. Okay, I, I see what we're doing, sure. Walk on the fire. That sounds dangerous. I don't know if we want to do that. That sounds like a really bad idea. Do we really want to walk on the fire, though? Um, so these. I'm assuming this one at the bottom is fire, but I don't know. Okay, sure. I kind of want to fall down and battle the extra trainers, though. I'm not going to lie. I kind of want to do it wrong. Walk on the water. Okay, yeah, that one makes sense. Okay, so I'm going to battle trainers. Never mind. When alone, nothing happens, but together, an odd power emerges and intensifies. Good. I want to know what levels we're fighting. I want to know what level range we're, we're looking at here. Starmie, level 32. Okay. We can fight that. We can fight that just fine. I imagine, um... The gym leader herself will probably go to 35, but that's fine. That's fine. Hard and terrifying. Well there. Starmie. Terrifying. I don't know if we can handle that. I don't know. Might be too strong. I'm just... I don't know. Unity is strength. Uh, walk on the water is what we got told, right? Just these. Um, I'm going all the way around here, and then to here. Easy! Is that a Lucario? I guess that makes sense. That really does fit with the Egyptian theme. Who is Snek? Ekans? Maybe a new form for Ekans? Who knows? And then... My people. My people. I found my people. Pukumuku. It's here. Luck does not exist. Exist a moment when preparation meets opportunity. That didn't make a whole lot of sense to me, but okay. Sure. Yep. Mm -hmm. Hi, advisor. <gasps> a man after my own heart. He has the strength. I am going to click magical leaf and hope that this Pokemon does not do anything stupid. Okay, that's fine. I'm just gonna kick a drain and finish it. I'm, it's very unfortunate that this Pukumuku, you know, didn't do anything. But also, it's a Pukumuku and that makes me happy. You know? It also makes me happy that there's both Pukumuku forms. Oh god, reading. <laughs> the, 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 the. What does that say? Is that an L? The something? The the look? No, that's a W. What does that say? Something is part of the game? The luck is part of the game? The luck is part of the game. Does it say luck? Is that going to be a U? I'm, I was reading that U as a W and that made it very difficult to decipher because I couldn't think of a word that began with LW, funnily enough. Who'd have thought? Who'd have thought about that? The luck is part of the game. Is that a way of saying, like, go up or down? Because question marks would be luck. Sad day. 
You battle me? Okay. Well, I guess we're battling all the trainers. We're really fully completing this gym at this point, okay? It's fine. You know, I could do with the extra XP on some of my Pokemon. It's all good. It's all good. Don't worry about it. The luck is part of the game. Does that mean I have to go up that northern path and get lucky on which ones I step on? Because, you know, they were saying about how, uh, how luck isn't real and all that. I agree. Luck is not real. <laughs> I don't trust. God, that, this poor Pokemon looks like it's really having a bad trip. It really does. It's not having a fun time. I feel bad for this Pokemon. Also, ow. Okay, calm down, buddy. I did mean to click Roost right there because I wanted to heal up a little bit, but, uh, oops. Oops. What type is Barry Geary? Is it weak to sound? Because water types are weak to sound, right? Let's see. Neutral. What type are you? But, but what type are you? Water and something, right? Because you're a fish, right? Right? I don't know. I don't know. It's got a weird secondary type or something, I imagine. Okay. Uh, how do I get back is the question. I guess I just follow this stuff. Whoa. My man has some speed. Hey. I was just waiting for a trainer to fall down. Let's battle. Just, just waiting, huh? Just waiting. Seems like you were really having a, having a moment. It's like an excited puppy waiting for a new visitor. He's just running back and forth, tail wagging. He's, he's having a great time. I don't entirely understand. <laughs> why Why was he so excited? Do people not fall down very often? Are people really lucky? I don't know. Maybe. It's possible, I suppose. I have an expert belt and an electric type move. This Gyarados is about to disappear. It's gonna outspeed me and probably one-shot me, but you know what? I believe. We have speed. Nice. Bye. He lives? Four times super effective stab. I guess it's a charge beam, not a thunderbolt, but still. Still. In fact, he lives is wild. I guess Gyarados is pretty tanky, but still. Dang. Expert belt boosted. Dang. Uh, do we have anyone else we have to fight to get out of here? Yes, okay, we really are gonna have to fight everyone. <laughs> we wish our soldiers will punish those who choose the wrong way. I chose the wrong way once and I get punished by three of you. I don't think that's fair. Oh, another Gyarados. Okay, well, I mean... Sure. Sure. I would swap out, but honestly, I'm more worried about, like, a Dragon Guard setup, so I'm just gonna Dazzle and Gleam and get as much damage up as possible. Ice Fang. Yeah, ow. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That definitely hurts. I believe in my Giga Drain recovery. I believe. Ice Fang. No, 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 stop. 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 I do not believe in my Giga Drain recovery, funnily enough. Um, I never believed at all, and, uh, don't, don't worry about it. But it will go down to a Thunder Shock, which is kind of funny. Alright, well, I think I'm gonna have to go and heal. Bremen's already pretty much back on par with, uh, levels and everyone. Uproar is a good move. That's less space power than I was thinking. Why was I thinking it was base 90? Um, hmm. Hmm. Would I rather have the stacking echoed voice damage buff or uproar just hitting harder? Probably just uproar hitting harder because I'm gonna use charge beam if I want extra damage because I can get like the special attack boost which helps on everything. So yeah, we'll, we'll run uproar. We do get locked into it, but that's fine. That's fine. We'll make it work. It's all good. All right, I am gonna run into heal real quick. Alright, the game of luck, huh? The luck is part of the game, meaning I'm sure it means to go up. Okay. This one. Okay. 
Where does this go? Where does this go? Where does this go? Hi. Huh? What are you doing here? Move. You've been able to reach here. This means you've completed the first challenge. I am impressed. Now let's move to the second game, the Unknown Checkers. Oh no. The rules are simple. You have to move on the squares following the unknown writing from A to Z. However, the path is fraught with pitfalls and some teleports might mislead you, making you retrace your own steps. Your hunch and your luck are the keys for this game. I have no luck and my hunch initially in this gym was wrong, which is an interesting sign, huh? So does this just teleport me back? Oh. What? Oh. Oh no. Oh, oh no. I have to remember the route. Up and left. Wait, hi. This unknown writing will amplify my power. And I have to battle some of you on the way? We're about to be in this gym for a long time. Everyone, strap in. Strap in. This is, uh, it's gonna be a long one. <laughs> We're gonna be here a while. <laughs> Unfortunate. Lock on. No, no, no. No lock on zap cannon from you. No lock on fire blast. No lock on anything. No, no, no. Get out of here with your Octazooka ways. No, no, no. Okay. Now do we get a thing? Between these letters, I'm nothing but an apostrophe. Okay, he was on the platform. That makes sense. I can only go down. The last one was up and right. This time I'm going down and left. Okay. Down and right. That's suspicious. Oh, no, I'm not, I'm not paying for that, no. Oh, no. Up and left. <laughs> the, the luck element is coming in right now. <laughs> the luck element is really coming in, I think. The worst part is, I have to remember this route that I've taken, and it's still going. I'm gonna be honest, I've already forgotten over half of the route. So, um... I hope I don't fall. <laughs> I really hope I don't fall. <laughs> that would be really unfortunate. Shy Leon, though, is getting a lot of XP, which is nice. Uh-huh. Please be the end, end one now. Okay, there is two here. Considering up was kind of hidden when I came through, I feel like up is the right way to go. Because it was blocked by my head, which would trick people. And this is a tricksy gym, so I'm going up. Huh? Oh no. In a way, the circle is pointing up and left. You see? You see how, like, the little unknown circle is pointing up and left? That's a sign. Wait, was it actually a sign? Wait. Oh my god, it never ends. It actually never ends. Right. Because I haven't been on many of the ones on the right before. That take me back to the same place? Left then. Oh my god, it never ends. <laughs> it never ends. <laughs> am I meant to be spelling something in particular? Or am I just meant to be going through the entire alphabet by hoping that I click on the right things? I'm probably meant to be spelling something in particular and I'm just not. I'm just clicking through. But I mean, I'm getting trainers out of the way, I guess. I suppose. You know, that's, that's probably a good thing. Probably a good thing, huh? I've never been particularly good at crosswords. Neither have I, don't worry. It's fine. It's fine. It happens, you know. Oh, so we should go to P. We do go to P. We should go to Q. See, Q points down and right, because it's a Q. Yeah? Ah, yeah, that, that points down and right. S kind of points straight down. I think I figured this out. Wait, that took me back to R. I guess I haven't figured anything out. I guess I just don't know, huh? Right. T, yep. Mm-hmm. U, mm-hmm. I messed up. It only took me back to T. That's fine. It's pointing up and right. W points up. 
X can point to either of these, so I'm just gonna go up and right and hope. I think I'm doing it. I think I'm doing it. I think I kind of figured it out. There's a slight... I don't know if it's entirely accurate what I'm doing, but I haven't been sent back to the beginning. Therefore, my strategy is working by following where the unknown kind of points with, like, the serifs that come off of the letters. This is... This is kind of working. I don't... It's, it's worked a decent chunk of the time. I'll take it, okay? <laughs> that or it's all luck, and I'm getting incredibly lucky, which I don't believe. You can move your checker now. Uh-huh, let me through. This takes me to Z. Am I free? Down and right, complete it, where the full stop would be. Yeah? Yeah? Is it time? For the gym leader? What are you? You've skillfully overcome the second challenge too. This is a long gym. Now there is a third and final game of this gym, the palm tree game. As you can see, the area of the pyramid is green and lush due to its miraculous water flowing here. This water, with its rich nutrients, also attracts a type of executor from far away. Hello, an executor? Yeah, I can see them. The giant faces on, on the right of us right now. They are real stars of this game. Some of them hide the access to a few rooms, inside which you have to get free water pearls. Only when you have all three of them, you'll be able to reach the Queen. I can only wish you well. Well, you're seeing me in the guise of Abbas, Queen's advisor, but you actually know me by another name. Joel. Oh! <gasps> my boy. I still owe you for helping the city, that's why I'll repay my debt with a Pokemon battle right now. That's not help- no, wait, that doesn't repay my debt at all. That- no, that puts you further into debt, you're betraying me. Hold on. Oi. Joel? What do you think you're doing, Joel? Huh? What's that about? Betraying me like that? How dare you? Get Dazzle and Gleam, then disappear. And with that, Shyleon is now level 35, and I feel decently confident that Shyleon can, uh, bop this gym, to be honest. Okay, so we're looking for pearls. I am gonna go ahead and put... Shockbird in front. Why not? I don't know. We'll pick one of them. Hi! So is there just a chance for one of these to be... I'm very confused. This executor looks friendly. It lifted its leg, showing a hidden entrance. Oh? Oh. Middle. Yep, middle. It's a water pearl. Yes! What's inside the other ones? Trainer battle? Or... Does a person just pop out? A person does just pop out! It really does! It really does just pop a person out! I, w I was kidding! <laughs> I didn't think they'd actually just pop a person out. Oh, not this thing again. Listen, I don't know what they hit you with, okay? I don't know- I don't know what you do. You confuse me, Birigiri. You confuse me. I'm very unsure as to what your typing is. So, well, I guess I'm a water type now. So that's something. It is weak to grass. I feel like it's like water- water electric? What are electric? That might have revealed it. I guess it does have a kind of lightning pattern on its shell. But I'm gonna be honest, if if it hadn't have gone for parabolic charge, probably wouldn't have ever guessed. So it turned me into a water type to parabolic charge me. Kinda smart. Kinda smart. I wish the lantern got parabolic charge. If it does, then I haven't used it with it, but it, it does seem like a good idea. Here we go, I'm just gonna do the exact same thing again. Are we gonna get power block charged? Probably, but I'm just gonna keep spamming Giga Drain. And we will restore all of our health nice and easily. Brine? That's fine. Go ahead. Go for it. You can brine. That's okay. Alright, so I'm assuming it's one pearl per executor. Makes sense. Kind of what I expected. Just wanted to see what was in the other, um, openable containers, basically. But if it's just gonna be trainer battles, then I don't think we need to be here anymore. You. Nope. Okay. I don't want to step on that, because that'll take me back. You. Correction. You. You. There we go. There we go. Right. Because it didn't work last time. Empty. Left. Because the last one was in the middle. Okay. The other one's going to be in the right, I believe. I believe. I believe. We just have to open the right coffin of the next executor. It's fine. You? There we go. 
Alright, so the one on the right should have the pearl if things are following logic. Good. 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 We are going to battle this gym leader today, I promise. This was a very long gym with a lot of long puzzles. Okay. Here. Eat. Eat. Consume. The clan pearls have officially consumed. I see a lot of hands and that worries me. I've been waiting for you. I really should have assumed water considering her outfit is blue and it really is that simple sometimes. Uh, I am going to lead with Skullville because I feel like Skullville is the least useful due to its part fire nature. So we'll lead with Skullville and see how it goes. My gym was designed to put a strain even on the brightest minds, but I see you went off without a hitch. I did fall once. I did fall once, so I don't know. Well, actually, I wouldn't expect anything less from you, Carlos, but let's cut the pleasantries. I hereby welcome you to the grand finale of the Palm Tree Game. Formerly, this game was known as Lollipop and Lucario, a name that I much prefer, to be honest. What's the reason? Well, in the end, a defenseless Lollipop will be wolfed down by a predator. You can guess who's going to play as Lucario. Get ready to battle with all your strength. I don't... I don't like that... <laughs> that... That analogy. I don't like it. I don't... Not very Gary again. This Pokemon is a problem, but also we've kind of led well against it, honestly. Because I can just see bomb, and that's super effective. That's decent damage, actually. That's really decent damage, and we are going to eat up a spark. Level 35 lead. The music, though. Every time. This will happen every time I come into a gym. I'm going to talk about the music because I love it. It's just... I get to buy it. Okay. Honchen. I don't know what that is. But it sounds bird-like. And how do you fight a bird? With a bird. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know, I kind of recognize the name. We might have seen it. Nope. That's a bird. That is a bird. For sure. I'm fun to waving it, because it scares me. It, it, I'm intimidated right now. I'll be perfectly honest, I'm very intimidated. That Pokemon right there scares me. For sure. I am just going to click Spark and get some damage off. Resisted. Dragon. Dragon? Hey, Shyleon. Hey. hey. Moxie. Okay, you need to stop. Buddy. Buddy old pal. You need to get Dazzling Gleam right now. I could set up a Calm Mind. But honestly, I feel like this... Sca it's scary. I'm Dazzling Gleaming. I am very intimidated by this thing's appearance. Like, really intimidated. Scald. Okay, that's fine. I maybe could have went for a Calm Mind, but regardless, Dazzling Gleam does around half. That's kind of nice and consistent. I don't- I don't hate it. Again, Dazzling Gleam, half. That's nice. That's really nice. Thank you for using up your potion. Get that thing away. It scared me. Okay, it did. 2000 XP is nice. Trying to learn Feral Clutch. That's the move that was used against us. Base 70 power fairy type move. Physical... I want to use it because it's a new move. But it doesn't fit with my Calm Mind thing that I've got happening. Dazzling Gleam is just kind of better. Nah, I'm not learning it. Nope. Nope. Unfortunate. But I am not going to learn that one. My logic. Now I'm going to Calm Mind because that's her ace and that thing will have Ice Beam and I need to be able to live an Ice Beam. I don't even know if this is going to be enough. Mmm, that hurts. That hurts. But I do outspeed. I can Giga Drain once and get enough health back to go for a Giga Drain again. Holy damage. Where did he go? Where did the Milotic go? Oh, never mind. The Milotic is fine. That's confusing. Hey, Milotic, you definitely didn't have any health just then. Just... Just want to point it out. Cofagrigus! I knew that was going to be a form. I knew it. Consumed its Rindo Berry and resisted the damage. Water type. Weakened the, the damp. Well, that was underwhelming. Where did 
Mikey go? Bring him back. I wanted to see what he could do. <laughs> like, I, I don't want to one-shot the cool Pokemon. I really don't. Your power rushed over me like a torrent. Uh-huh. Apparently so. Apparently you just got bobbed. What a great battle. That was awfully good. You will go really far, Carlos. I'm sure about it. With my badge, you already got four of them, so you're not an average trainer anymore. I'm I'm kind of annoyed, <laughs> I'm gonna be honest. I really wanted to see what that Cofagrigus could do. That's the title badge, the emblem of my gym, as well as your victory today. And I have a small gift for you too. A water type TM, maybe Scald perhaps? Scald's a good move, I mean I'm not complaining. Yep, Scald's good. It's a powerful attack, but it may turn into a double-edged sword if used on a frozen Pokemon. That's true, but let's be honest, that never happens, so meh. Well, you got what it takes to venture into the arid Sunflare Canyon. Head east, but please be careful. Now you have that new power in your hands, the enemies on your path will be more and more terrible. I wish you safe travels. Just know, I'll be ready to lend you a ha helping hand whenever you need. I need a helping hand. I need a helping hand. I need to see what that Cofagrigus can do. Can that be my helping hand? Kind of, kind of want to know, but uh, it kind of got bopped. Is unfortunate. Well, either way, I guess that's where we're going to be wrapping things up for this episode. It was a long gym. Uh, other than the gym battle itself, funnily enough, which is not how it usually goes. But if you guys have enjoyed this episode, leave a like down below, hit that subscribe button, and have a favorite. Bye.